Hey everybody, um, you won't see this for a while, but I'm recording it now because I need to get it ready to gift. <laughs> this is my mom's present, yes. Um, I think it turned out lovely. Um, I, let me tell you what I did. Okay, I ordered it first of all last year um, when my mom was first diagnosed with cancer and I thought it would be you know, a perfect sentiment for her and something uplifting. And then I never got it done and now we're kind of back in the same boat again. Um, so I'm like, I really need to do it now. I need to. Um, so I ordered it through Diamond Designs. Okay, her logo is on here. Um, I found her through a Facebook page and she had some stock images. She would do customs. She would use people's photos and like pay people um, if someone used their photo, give them a little money for using their photo, things like that. She stopped. Um, she stopped doing it for a while, but she's back at it. She still does have this image available because people have asked when they've seen it on Instagram and places like that. Um, and I put it on her Facebook page, knowing my mom wouldn't see it there, right? So she has a Facebook page, which I will link below. And I think that's the way to contact her right now is through her Facebook page. She does have this image available um, if anyone is interested in purchasing it. Now, I did do some changes to it. I changed all the lettering. I changed the lettering out and made them just one color because there were multiple colors and I just didn't think they showed up as well. So I put purple, all purple ABs in the Just Breathe, okay? That is all purple AB. Now, that was a little tricky. I've gotten I've gotten pretty good at uh, making letters. The, the cursive was you know, the worst. But I think it really shows up really good on this, and I like how it looks. My mom loves the ABs. She loves the extra sparkle, and so that's perfect for her. I think it looks good, okay? Um, I put sparklers down here. These are a purpley pink sparkler. I don't remember which color it was. They look kind of burgundy there, but they're really pink. Um, and again, the sparkler aspect to it will just make my mom, you know, she loves the extra, extra blingy stuff. So I just did the words. The rest of it is just the way that it was charted. And um, it turned out really nice. This big butterfly in the middle. And then there's like one, two, three, four, five, six hummingbirds, which she loves hummingbirds. And those two right there, you know, by the rows. Yeah. I, I like how it turned out. I think it looks really good. Okay. Now, I will say this, it was poured glue, um, and after hanging in the closet for a year, it really was in good shape. I didn't have any rivers or bubbles in it to speak of, so I'm really pleased with that. Um, these drills are not the best, okay? I will just say that. I'll be honest about that. So I have some in a tray here, and I had um, a variety of issues with them. Let's see if you can focus on them. So a lot were stuck together and stuck together drills. Mm, sometimes you can get them apart. Sometimes these were tough to get apart. They were really tough. Um, you'll see down here at the bottom. Come on, camera focus. It's like, no, see the holes. Lots of holes in the top of the drills. Um, there were lots of holes. You see some concave ones. So my main problem were stuck together, the concave and the holes. The holes was probably the largest problem. And this was just the last couple colors I worked with. I saved just to kind of show you the trash problems I had. Now it wasn't all the drills. Don't get me wrong. It was not all of them. It was like four or five colors that were like that. And I was okay because, I mean, this is how they came. I love the kitted up. So like these pinks, I would tell you the pinks were just fine. The pinks, I had no problems with, okay? There weren't holes. So those were good drills. It just depended on the color, I think. And um, I mean, but I had enough drills of every single color to finish this. I ran out of nothing. Here's all of my drills, okay? Every single color I still have, all right? So, I mean, that's what's most important is that you have enough to complete the kit, even if you had to pick out some with holes on them. I have actually gone through 
um, and kind of just randomly look to see if I missed any that had holes in the tops and try to take those out. Like there's one right there with a hole. I'll probably take that one out. I, most people wouldn't notice it, but I notice it. And it would happen mainly when I was multi-placing because you know, you're not as careful when you multi-place and then all of a sudden you realize there's a hole. So that would be my one thing, um, one negative about the kit. That would be the only negative really I had about it. And I did have enough drills that I can pick through. Okay, so that's good. Um, but that's what it looks like. I think she's going to just love it. Um, I need to find a frame for it. Now there's the next issue. Finding a frame, this is 20 inch by 20 inch. The largest square frame I can find is an 18 by 18. I don't want to cut off an inch on each side. You know what I mean? An inch is quite a lot. I mean, really, look, if I'm cutting off an inch on each side, I'm going to lose, you know, I'm going to lose all the way over to this hummingbird. I'm going to cut him off. I can't, no, can't do it. So um, I'm looking currently for some alternative to framing this. I'm going to look for some other options right now, see what I can come up with. Crossing my fingers, I find something that works. I'll try to show it to you when it's done. If all else fails, I can get poster hangers, you know, the magnetic that go across the top and the bottom and just have it hang. Um, if I did that, then I don't know if I would want to seal it. I normally don't seal my paintings, but if it was going to be exposed like that, I might, might seal it. But I'm still holding out hope for some frame. Um, I just got to get in gear and get out to some other stores and look. So, yeah, I found one on Amazon, but it won't be here in time. <laughs> you know. <laughs> All right. But as far as the painting goes, you guys, it looks really, really good. I'm really pleased with how it turned out. So, like I said, if you're interested in this picture, she has it available. And I will find her Facebook page and I will link her below. All right. Hopefully one more clip at the end after I find a frame.